We developed this recipe because we wanted to do something a little bit fancier with ground beef that wasn't just your average hamburger or spaghetti sauce. So we decided to make a classic Salisbury steak. It starts like all good things with a chopped onion and a couple of cloves of chopped garlic. The onion and the garlic are going to go into the beef mixture to season it. As well, I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of sage, which is quite nice. It just needs to be rubbed a bit before it goes in. Some salt. And this is uh, onion powder. Onion powder is dehydrated onion. It's, there's nothing chemical about it at all. It gives a really intense oniony taste. And then some breadcrumbs. And these are just ordinary store-bought breadcrumbs, but they're going to help to bind the mixture together. And just for extra insurance, one egg. So now to mix it all together and to shape it into nice steak-shaped patties. The pan is on medium, not too hot, and I like to cook them in butter because it's got so much flavor. After about three minutes, I'm just going to flip them over and get the other side brown as well. It's important to cook them in two batches because that gives the steaks enough room in the pan to really get nice and hot and gets them caramelized on the exterior, which means they're going to be extra delicious when you go to eat them. So now it's time to make the delicious mushroom sauce. And um, if, there's, if the pan is looking really dry, add about another tablespoon or so of butter. But there's still about enough fat in this, so I think it's okay. I'm just going to add the mushrooms right into this hot pan. And then I'm just going to cook these until they soften up, which will take about four minutes. The mushrooms are nice and soft. So to make this into a sauce, I'm going to sprinkle it with a couple tablespoons of flour. That just goes nice and evenly over the top. And then once you can see that all the flour is sort of coated with the juices from the pan, a little bit of beef broth goes in. So now that the flour and the broth are all incorporated and they've made a nice sauce, I'm going to put the steaks back into the pan, all of them at once, and cook them until they're cooked through. So that's going to simmer about five to ten minutes just until the steaks are cooked through and the sauce is nice and thick. Steaks are gorgeous. The sauce is rich, a little bit creamy. The mushrooms smell absolutely delicious. Mm. Mushrooms and steak are such a classic combination. There it is, Salisbury steak with mushrooms.